Good morning. Just got dropped back off at the trailhead to continue north into Yellowstone. So we should hit that tomorrow night, which is very exciting. And you'll notice that I am sporting a new hat from Du Bois at the big jackalope, which is very exciting to go and see. I didn't get much footage of Du Bois due to a hectic time getting all my town chores done and Yellowstone permits sorted. However, as a Bigfoot fan, I did appreciate the town's embrace of him and the jackalope. Got dropped off at the trailhead after being in Du Bois this morning at about 9 a.m., which is great. Fairly early start having been in town. However, I need to do 31 miles today, which is just under 50 k's if that helps. The problem is I keep stopping like every five minutes to take photos out this area it's so dang beautiful so I need to either get a wriggle on stop taking photos and videos or I'm gonna be hiking when it's dark tonight All right, and the reason I need to do 31 miles is to then make it to because you've got to have designated camp spots um, in Yellowstone so got to make it to the first designated camp spot tomorrow night which means 31 miles today, about 31 miles tomorrow. That should have been my first sign that things were not going to go well this stretch. Still recording. Well, let's clean my phone, shall we first? All right, let's try this again and see if I can not fall over. So I am less than two hours out of town and I was trying to get the money shot. Wasn't looking where I was walking, fell over and it is so dusty. So I am so dirty. There's a creek coming up. I'm gonna try and dust myself off a bit. But I can't believe that after getting clean in town, I am now all dirty again. Ugh. I think earlier today I made a video saying I'd done some incorrect math and I have well it would be nice to do 30 miles today <laughs> maybe at 20 and it's uh, definitely 5 30 maybe getting close to 6 o'clock so another 10 miles we'll see the problem is, if you can see behind me, is I'm in a burn area, which just means there's a lot of blowdowns, uh, which is slowing me down a lot. Uh, case in point, I have to go over one now. Just give me one moment, step over. Uh, but yeah, I might make a video showing the number of blowdowns that I have to step over just in the next five or so minutes. Number one, nice and easy. Blow down pile two. Well not actually, we got me on the switch back. Oh, okay. Blow down number two. Nice and easy. Blow down three. Not too hard. Blow down four. 
Python River Crossing. It is around almost 8.30, 8.25, and I've made it just over 25 miles. Probably got about half an hour of light left. However, I would like to do another 2.5 if possible. So we'll see if that's possible or not. It won't be in half an hour, but I wonder if I can night hike for a little bit. But it is, there's a bit uphill. So that will take me, the 2.5 will take me slightly longer than if it was downhill or just undulating or flat. So we'll see. Hello, future editing Kez here. So that night I hiked until about 9.15, which was just on darkness, and then I set up my tent. But that's when the wheels fell off again. So we're gonna fast forward two days to the next clip to let you know what happened, and then we're gonna rewind again. I have a few updates for you. I have not taken many videos in the last few days. Uh, since the day before entering Yellowstone because of my first day out of Du Bois that night I pulled my battery pack out of my bag and it was super hot sorry small creek on a log to cross let me just do that done um, <coughs> and I know this about night core batteries when they overheat they stop working completely. So my battery pack is dead. Uh, which means that I've had to conserve my phone battery so that I could use it for what I really need it for. Um, yeah, my GPS and maps and stuff. Which means I haven't been taking videos. Sorry, there is a... The sun right behind me, you're just going to have to cope with that. Um, but yeah, heading into Old Faithful in Yellowstone today, which means I should be able to at least wall charge my phone. And then I need to work out what to do about a battery pack. Uh, sorry, just another creek that I'm going to jump over. Oh, and the mozzies are out in force. Mozzies love Yellowstone, apparently. Um, so yeah, that is my update. I'll let you know how I get on. But hopefully, yeah, I've got a little bit of charge off of my friend last night. So I got back 25% on my phone, which should be enough to get me into Old Faithful and hopefully take a few videos of some cool geysers and stuff as well. Now let's reverse a few days and I'll show you the few clips that I did get from those couple of days before Old Faithful. thermal pools which is very cool This now brings us back to Old Faithful Day. It was a 14 mile walk into Old Faithful Village through some pretty cool areas of the park. And I'm guessing not many people get to see these more remote areas. And I can't believe how close the trail lets you get to geothermal activity.
the walk out of Old Faithful Village was also really cool, past so many great looking geysers. Good morning. So quick update, just crossed the border into Idaho, another state down, which is very exciting. Another state down. Whoop, whoop. The trail for the next 400-ish miles kind of skirts along the Idaho-Montana border. So we'll cross into Montana as well a bit later today or tomorrow morning. Uh, and it just keeps flitting between the two until after 400 miles we get properly into Montana. Uh, I spent yesterday in Old Faithful Village, uh, which was really cool uh, to see all the geysers and all faithful go off and did so much. Got my resupply done, ate, sorted out a battery pack. So I'm getting that shipped to me in two towns. So I just have to, yeah, keep my phone charged up in town stops and not use it too much to get me through to there. But that should be okay because I've got a town in a day and a half from now and then another three days after that. So it shouldn't be too bad if I don't use my phone too much um yeah and they have free showers for hikers at old faithful inn so i went and did that as well so i totally jam-packed my three hours in old faithful I made it to West Yellowstone, which was a super great town for hikers with everything within walking distance. However, it was super touristy. But I did enjoy a day off there, particularly going to the Wolf and Bear Discovery Centre. And I hope that's as close to a bear as I ever get. Three and a half poop trowels out of five.